Welcome to the vendor training course, Broom Swept Condition. In this course, I will discuss the proper way to place a post-sale property in broom swept condition. Let's begin. A property that is in broom swept condition is defined as being free of debris, personals, dirt, and dust. This, however, is not to be confused with full maid services and cleaning. Placing a property in broom swept condition is now a standard part of the FHA post-sale maintenance processes that must occur at a location prior to conveyance. Before removing anything from the property, you will need to take into account where the property is located. Certain states are considered to be eviction states, which means no personal property can be removed from the location until an eviction occurs. Cars are often included in the definition of personal property in these states and should not be removed until an eviction is requested. If you are located in a non-eviction state, assess the quantity and value of the items present, making sure every room is inspected. Be as thorough as possible in doing this and remember to check attics, basements, crawl spaces, closets, and appliances for any personal property. The proper way to determine the amount of the items present is to measure by cubic yards. Making the correct determination and providing the proper photo documentation is critical to ensure payment for, of your invoice. To learn more about cubic yards, watch the Measuring Cubic Yards course. As with any preservation work being done, reading the work order is critical when placing a property in broom swept condition. Different clients have set different parameters in terms of what can be done, depending upon the amount of personals remaining. For example, some clients will ask that no work be completed if any personal property remains at a location, while others state that up to $2,500 worth of personals can be removed. Carefully read your work order and follow the instructions given. If there are ever any questions regarding what can be removed from a property to place it in broom swept condition, contact your regional coordinator for clarification. After you are certain items can be removed from the property and any debris or personal property has been assessed for value, remove the debris as necessary. Any debris found in cabinets and on countertops must be removed. It is also imperative that dishwashers, ovens, and refrigerators are cleared of all items as well. Additionally, countertops and cabinets must be wiped down. If there are any small items on the carpet or floor, they also will need to be removed. The carpet can either be swept with a broom or a small restaurant-style cordless sweeper. The sweeper, while not a requirement, has been found to be quicker and a more efficient way to clean the carpet and place the property in broom-swept condition. Don't forget to pick up and remove all dust piles. In addition to the floors, do not forget to sweep the steps. Check the area under the steps for debris and personals, removing items if they are found there. If there is a fireplace at the property, all ash has to be removed from it. Clean it thoroughly and sweep the surrounding area. Bathrooms are another area that must be addressed. Remember that we require vendors to carry clean water with them so any items obstructing a proper winterization can be removed. To flush the toilet, add water to the tank in the bowl. After the toilet has been flushed, proceed with the winterization. To learn more about how to complete a winterization, view our winterization training courses. Make sure you thoroughly inspect basements, crawl spaces, and attics to determine if any personal property or debris remains in them. If there are any detached cabinets or storage units, they will need to be removed. If personal items that did not meet the client value threshold were left in the basement or attic, then these items must be collected and removed from the property, and the floor must be swept. While checking the basement, it is also imperative to check for a sump pump. If one is present, check for operability and inspect the crock for any debris that needs to be removed. Garages and sheds must be cleaned when putting a property in broom swept condition. Pay special attention to garage rafters. Any items left in the rafters need to be removed. In addition, please check any cabinets or closets that are in the garage or sheds. Make sure all items are removed and that the floor is swept. When debris has been removed from all rooms and all areas have been swept and wiped down, complete one last assessment of the property. Again, check closets, corners, and cabinets to confirm that all items have been removed and that the property meets broom swept standards. I hope you found this course helpful. To learn more about placing a property in convey condition, view the training course. Convey Condition Assessment.